Usalia! Usalia! Can you hear me? It's no use, bro. She's not responding. Is there... is there anything we can do? Usalia, who awoke a new ability, has weakened this much in just a few minutes. She's in danger. Hey! Get a hold of yourself, little Usa! Who do you think you are saving me? You little... Usalia's face is already turning blue. Don't tell me! Usalia's young life is slipping away! Stop it, sis! Don't say that! Can everyone just take a few steps back? Christo? What's gotten into you? Who are you to give me orders? Please move so that I can save Usalia. I didn't expect any of this to happen. Whoa! Wh what's with this light? Th this skill? Looks like it worked. I'm impressed, little Sisto. What in the red hell did you do? It, it, it was nothing. Just ordinary, ain't I mean, healing magic. I was worried that it wasn't going to work, but that turned out to be simple anxiety. I don't feel any pain, Flip. She looks better. It looks like she's perfectly fine. Jeez, talk about malicious, little Sisto. If you have crazy healing magic like that, you shouldn't have held back on it for so long. You're, you're right. I haven't used that type of magic in a while, so it took me a while to remember how to do it. Christo! Thank you very much for saving me, Flip! There's no need to thank me. You're an important part of our forces. I had to save you. By the way, Christo, there's one thing I don't understand. W what is it? Majorita declared that there's no possible way to neutralize that poison in this netherworld. Majorita is an experienced demon general. That venom wasn't something that could have been cured by ordinary healing magic. Well, that's... My magical power is beyond that because I'm an overlord. Hmm, is that so? What's up, Sarah? You're getting all up in Lil' Sisto's face. What's your problem with them? The magic Christo used. It's awfully similar to that of the angel magic I've read about in literature. Uh, angel magic? Christo, I highly doubt it, but I must ask. Are you, in fact, an angel? <laughs> Me? An angel? You, you must be joking, right? That's preposterous. I can't even play along. What's with that look? Seraphina, please leave my savior alone, Flip. If Christo was an angel, there's no way he would have helped a demon like Usalia, Flip. That's right. I've never heard of an angel helping a demon before. Yeah, an angel would never help a demon. This man, Christo, is a splendid overlord. Kill him.
Episode 11, Netherworld Extinction. My duty to protect this magical spear. I don't have time to deal with you. I heard you were severely injured during an encounter with the rebel army. Who the hell is spreading false rumors? I'm not like you. I wouldn't have any trouble dealing with those rebels. As a matter of fact, I just severely injured one of them with a special venom. Usalia, the heir of Toto Bunny, is still alive. Liar! There's no way to neutralize that poison in this netherworld. You, you're lying to me. You're just trying to confuse me. You don't believe anyone. Of course I do. The only person I believe is Lord Boy Dark, who turned my life around when I was a war orphan. I see. If you understand, then get the hell out of my face, Bloodus. Is the stone guy Vader? Does that make Majorina Palpatine? No. I mean, realistically, Bloodus isn't a bad comparison between Vader. Yeah, Bloodus could totally be kind of a a uh, analog for Vader in this. The problem is Palpatine would also be Luke Skywalker in this situation, which is a little bit nonsense. Uh, with <laughs> oh well, <laughs> doesn't matter that much. Pretty village, world is uh, discovered. Oh, speaking of, we should probably do. Let's go to the cheat shop. I'm just gonna keep ranking down the uh, the money I get from things, just because I don't need it anymore. I get so much. Also, if I want money, I can crank it back up and do the reverse on a very high level. What the fuck? Well, I don't think I'm getting up to that chest. Yeah, dude. It is being defended by a printy. <laughs> I don't think I can open that up. All right, well, whatever. Bro, sis, can you listen to my strategy for a second? Strategy? Yeah, it's a secret strategy for the next time we face Master. Ho, 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 ho. You're finally using your head like a good servant. Well, I'm not going to count on it, but I don't mind hearing what you have to say. I suddenly don't feel like talking about it. That's normal. Don't worry about it. Now let's hear it. It's too risky to face Bloodus head on, so if we're going to fight him again, I think we should aim for his old scar. You might be real opponent's weak spot, bro, but... Hmm. But how will we attack his old scar? I bet he'll be cautious about it, too. I don't think he'll let us hit it that easily. You're probably right, but that's where a combo skill comes in. Combo skill. First, Bro and I will act like we're going to use our ultimate demon technique, final skill. When we draw his attention, Seraphinesis will shoot Master in his own scar. So that's my strategy. What do you think? It's so simple, he'll probably figure it out. Do you really think it's going to work? not my style to resort to using a cheap trick, but at this rate, we have no choice. Alright, let's go with your strategy. Alright, it's decided. This strategy all depends on Sis's skills. I'm counting on you. Oh ho ho ho. Who do you think you're talking to? I am the overlord of gorgeous Seraphina, a temptress overlord princess who won't let whatever I set my sights on slip away. And we got another one. Where's, where's the everybody else? There you are. Christo, I would like a word. Uh, I would like for you to prove you're a demon right here, right now. You really don't believe me? I swear that I'm a demon. All right, then perform the actions of a demon that I will specify for you. What's going on? Looks like you guys are having super fun. That's enough. Trust Christo. Would you like to watch too, Sir Kilia? We might see Chris Christo's true form. <laughs> What are you going to make me do? Relax. There'll be easy tasks for a demon. All right. About the person you're always talking to here on your cell phone. I want you to badmouth that person. 
What? That sounds great! It's impossible for an angel to badmouth someone behind their back. What's wrong? Is that a little too difficult for an angel, Christo? If you want me to tell you that flippantly useless guy... Uh, if you want me to tell you about that flippantly useless guy, I could compose a thousand page essay. Would that be enough? You're good. All right, I take it back for today. But that doesn't mean I won't accuse you later. I will find out the truth someday, so you better be prepared. Ha! <laughs> Looks like Sarah's having super fun! You do too. Whew, that was close. What's with this timing? Am I being spied on? All right, God damn it, we got another one. Uh, Christo, where are you? There you are. Christo! What, what, what is it? Are, are you gonna test me again? My, how rude. I've never accused you of being an angel in my entire life. No, 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 you were definitely accusing me. Oh, ho, ho. I've been looking at things from a different perspective. The reason you saved Usalia's life, even though you claim to be a demon, is because... Of love? I... don't even wear gloves. No, I said love! It's a painful and bittersweet emotion. Ha! <laughs> My love, me? In love? <laughs> that's... that's preposterous. The fact that you're trying to hide it is making the situation even more suspicious. Like, like I like I said, I feel I should support you too. Like I said, I'm not in love. Who am I supposed to be? Who am I even in, supposedly in love with? Usali, of course. What? <laughs> Thank you for your feelings, Christo Plip. But Usalia wants us to just stay friends, Plip. How unfortunate. However, every farewell is the beginning of a new hello. You can do this, Christo. I'm sorry, Plip. <laughs> what is this? I've never felt this level of defeat before. Fun new thing I've also done. I've unlocked triple jumping. I can triple jump to some pretty weird places, dude. It's also really glorious because it's Grand Slam Man of all people. Can I can I get on to Yep, I can get up here. Any other weird places I can get to? I remember in um Phantom Brave, if you jumped up to certain spots, you'd actually get like actually really good rewards. I don't think there's any bear where specifically for me to jump to. But that was goddamn fantastic. Okay, characters, everybody's healed up. We might as well get the witch hat and Let's continue Where on. Would you like to go, dude? Excuse me. We're going to take back Lil Usa's home. Hurry up, Lil Sisto. Yes, this is Christo. Hello, hello. Long time no see, Christo. How have you been? It hasn't been that long. Besides, your annoying voice saps my energy. Oh my, that's not good. Want me to teach you a good luck charm that I just came up with? <laughs> if you tried this at a party, you're sure to be the center of attention. Can I cut you off right there? I mean, like, forever. What? Are you sure? I have very important information for you. Is it about that anti-netherworld annihilation weapon? First, I have a question for you, Christo. I have some bad news and some really bad news. Which would you prefer to hear first? My only options are bad news? All right. Then tell me the really bad news first. Good! I just saw the horoscope segment on TV. Your fortune for tomorrow is the worst bad luck. Indecisiveness will lead to bad results, so be careful. Also, your lucky person is friends, but you don't have any. <laughs> Are you trying to pick a fight with me? 
No, this fortune is really accurate. You should be careful about being indecisive. Okay, fine. If that's the really bad news, then I bet the regular bad news is just a lame joke or something. The bad news is that one of the higher-ups discovered that you've escaped and that you're in the netherworld. <laughs> huh? And the anti-netherworld annihilation weapon, Armageddon, is almost ready to launch toward Void Dark. Usually, all the meetings and paperwork take a while, but when it comes to these types of things, the preparations go really fast. Wait, wait a second. The higher-ups know that I'm over here and they're still going to launch the missile. Of course. They came to the conclusion that as Void Dark spy, there's no reason to help you. But I was framed for that. That is completely not fair. Is this truly how angels should act? Unfortunately, that's exactly how we're gonna act. But there is one way to save yourself. Which is? In order for the launch to be successful, we need the location of Void Dark. Christo, you know where he is, don't you? You can see it with your clairvoyance. Otherwise, a careful person like you would never have brought up the idea of something like an assassination. Ugh. Of course, the higher-ups aren't going to ask for the location without offering anything in exchange. If you help us, you will prove your innocence, and the shroud of suspicion over being a spy will be lifted. Prove my innocence? I was innocent from the beginning. But you have no other choice than to take this deal. I don't think there's any other way you'll survive. Don't you want to get revenge on those who tricked you? Then you have to survive. If you launch the missile, won't the netherworlds in the area around Void Dark all be completely wiped out? Probably, yes. Armageddon packs a huge punch. Can I have a little time to think about this? Sure, but you don't have much time. The deal expires in 24 hours. All right. 24 hours. Okay, I'll be waiting for a good answer. Ciao! Why do you look so serious? Whoa! Why are you panicking like that? I heard something about launching a missile. D don't worry. It's nothing. I was coming up with strategies for how to defeat Void Dark and thought a missile might be a safe bet. I see. What a great idea! You want to mercilessly drop the hammer on Void Dark from beyond his attack range. I rather prefer elegantly outrageous strategies, and that one is superb! <laughs> hmm. From beyond his attack range, a real man would face him toe-to-toe! -to -toe. Let's worry about our strategies later. While we're arguing like this, he's absorbing the energy of Toto Bunny. Zorokin's right. We need to defeat Majorita first, and free Toto Bunny. Thank you very much, everyone, Flint! Please lend Usalia your powers! Right on, Lou Usa! I owe that little brat a little something, too! I can't stand losing to her all the time! All right! Let's pull it together and go get some revenge! Wait, am I going back to Toto? Oh, Toto Bunny Castle! Really? Alright. This is the first time we've spent two uh, two chapters in the same netherworld. Bro! Is that... Bloodis! This is bad. Damn it! Void Dark must really want to protect this magical spear. I knew you'd come, warriors of the rebel army. I've been waiting. Looks like you guys have improved a little. But if that's all you've got, then you don't have what it takes to challenge Lord Void Dark. As usual, his power is immense. His powering up just feels like a gentle breeze against my powering up! I'll take you on! Wait, Red Magnus. Can you leave this to me and Zorokin? Bro? 
Zoroka, let's do the final skill one more time. All right, bro. Let's bring Master back to his former self. Oh, so just the two of you are going to face me. You underestimate me. Now, Seraphina, sis! Roger! So we came up with a brilliant strategy. <laughs> so that's the deal. All right, Zorokin. Let's go. Okay, bro. Ultimate demon technique. Final skill. Avidia, holy water. What? What the? Fool, did you think I would fall for the same move again? B bro Stay calm. We can push through this. You novices! <laughs> A final skill that takes two people to unleash? Don't make me laugh. Damn it! What's going on? We didn't mess it up, so why isn't it working? Fool, it's because of your inexperience. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Master. Don't misunderstand, Zerokin. This man isn't Goldion. Now, it's my turn. Are you ready? Please wait a moment, Lord Demon General Gladys. The defense of this magical spear was entrusted to my master, Lady Majorita. Please, leave this matter to us. All right. Take care of these novices. I'll go take care of the other overlords who were inspired by the rebel army. Kilia, was it? Show me your true power. Remember that power you had when you first fought me. The next time we fight, if you don't show me that power, then I won't hesitate to kill you. You must be the outrageous vandals who harm my master, Lady Majorita. I am sure of it. I will not forgive you. You shall pay for that crime with your lives. Ooh, it's this music. I like this music. So what do we got? Maids, maids. Oh, they're all level 55 and whatever. All right. Well, let's go mess them up. Full party this time. Let's go. Because it's been, I don't know. I mean, I used Usalia pretty much exclusively on the last chapter. Why uh, Why do they do the same thing? She is level 66, Jesus. I should probably take... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I should probably take the turbo leveling item off of her, though. I think she gets double experience as long as she's wearing that thing. Then again, I like the idea of turbo Usalia, so I'm not entirely sure. And those maids have really powerful looking weapons. You are not incorrect about that one. Oh, let's bring up Moaxes. Uh, you know what, let's... I don't really use Geese that much. It doesn't have a whole lot of skill diversity. I like him, but he's just such a pain. Huh, those mushroom bows look interesting. They might actually kill Zoroken here. No. 
Nope, they didn't kill him. They got close. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna rely on Christo for healing for the time being. I'm surprised that Christo didn't actually unlock a better healing move after that demon one. Oh well, or that uh, after that cutscene. But it, I guess it's so close to um, it's so close to Usalia getting her her uh, super move. Hello, these maids have a lot of a lot of speed. Oh, keep that in mind. Wow. Yeah, they're actually pretty tough. Well, all right. I mean, I'll just fight them normally, I guess. Or worse comes to worse, we just uh, end up relying on Usali as the turbo main character of death and destruction. Uh, let's see. I'm actually surprised how... Okay, there we go. Red Magnus can kill him. And we're still gonna use I'm still gonna use her in combat, if only because I wanna teach her Giga Wind. There we go. Doesn't kill him either. So for all of her overleveling, she's still not in a situation where um where it matters. Alright, that's fair. Eh. Let's just let's just do uh medical care. It's a skill I wanna put points into anyway. We'll use it on we'll use it on Serafina. Yeah. She needs it anyway. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're, looks like we're doing well. I wonder how many levels this this castle is gonna have, because I I didn't even expect that we would be still on Toto Bunny. I figured we were done. Guess not. It's not terrible though, obviously. But I, I was expecting that we'd be uh we'd be you know done with Toto Bunny in general and move on to probably having to take out the missile ahead of time. No dice though. Oh, right, Potato can actually cast something here. Uh, any skills that we're actually training Potato in specifically? Not really. I guess we can do Giga Ice. Perfect. And did, did Christo... Is Christo's done? Okay, so the only person that can't act is Vi, but Vi... Oh, wait, no, Vi could have actually done the piercing skill. Nope. Never mind, that would have hit Killian. I don't want to deal with, with that at all. I should really reset everybody's squads. Uh, currently I've got everybody in either the capture squad or the skill squad. And the skill squad's fine. Like, we need that for, uh, for things. But in this case, we're kind of wasting Kilia's... Uh, we're wasting Kilia at the very least. Let's do... let's do medical care. Medical care is good. Why are you still alive? I guess nobody's shooting at him anymore. Accuracy really needs work. Oh well, let's see. Capture laser, Phoenix Valor. Gonna. Well, it's gonna kill one of them. Is that gonna be enough? No, really. Wow. These chicks are tough. Okay, so why don't we? Why don't we move her forward and start peppering the archer down? We'll have Red Magnus do the finishing blow. Back over. Back over here. I'm having that terrible time actually, like, directing these characters for whatever reason. Okay, so everybody's pretty much directed. You guys isn't gonna reach normally. We can use the diagonal. Should be good. Usalia can do... We might as well do a heal with Usalia. I see a little bit of damage there. Oh, she's got her overload. I'm not gonna use it. I don't feel like using it. I forgot! Her overload actually injures everything, so that actually makes my life a lot easier. That means we definitely snag some kills here. So that, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, Giga Heal. Oh, right. Actually, learned that there. Okay. So, support spell range. Now, I don't... I don't see what it's talking about. Whatever, I'm not going to be using her, like, mega move beyond this. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, Usalia's overload is actually really good from like a teamwork uh, teamwork perspective. If I get her too powerful, though, she'll just uh, she'll just be able to like nuke everybody in a map, and it won't even be fair. Ooh, which would be great for the like item world nonsense. Like that that that'll be a one hit KO button no matter what. Anytime we're in the item world, yeah, that feels good. 
Of course, you know, she's probably not going to be able to, she's only going to be able to use it every couple of stages, but considering how often she gets smacked, I, I use her in, like, direct combat situations, it's frequent. Okay, so you know what? We might as well do the, uh... If I can get there, we might as well use Usalia for a... Wait, where is it? Oh, equip. No, what? Apparently because we're in, um... Huh. We can't use her weird buddy move. Alright. Well, I guess we'll just do Hurricane Blow. That's surprising. Okay. I don't think he's going to be able to get within range, and he has moved too far. That's just... that is still too far. I'm really bad with, uh, directing on the control sticks. Okay, so who needs more experience? Moaxes Jay. needs more experience. Moaxes, go have some fun. Finish this mission for us. Unfortunately, he's using an axe, which of course has, like, the worst hit rating of any weapon. In fact, it has a negative hit rating. I should look into boosting it the next time I get the chance. That said, Vital Steel. Awesome move. Might want to consider teaching him swords as well. Just because I don't actually have a sword user. But his name is goddamn Moaxes. Feels wrong to do it the other way. <laughs> she said she won't forgive us, but she wasn't much of an enemy. That was our chance to fight Bloodus! Why'd she have to interrupt us? Bro, is what Master... I mean, Bloodus said bugging you? Bro? Our only hope definitely lies with the final skill. But we're not ready to do it yet. Wait, the only skill that you haven't mastered is the final skill, right? Doesn't that pretty much mean you've mastered the ultimate demon technique? You're not a novice. The ultimate demon technique is only mastered when you've learned the final skill. Only then will the skills reach their true potential. I... I didn't know that. I couldn't learn the final skill, so I ran away. I'm a novice. No matter what I do, nothing is going to change that. Why? Why won't it activate? It appears you are not yet ready to learn the final skill. But do not rush. Rushing will not solve anything. <sighs> Why? Now do you understand? If you don't, then it means you haven't trained enough. <sighs> Another lecture. Don't get so irritated, Kilia. We are demons. Our hearts are a cluster of evil. But when you can change your evil heart into a pure heart, that's when the final skill will activate. This story again? A pure heart? Don't be ridiculous! I'm not being ridiculous. No matter how remarkable your powers are, at this rate, they'll all be put to waste. It's all in your heart. You must open up your heart, Gilead. <laughs> Your yapping sounds convincing, but aren't you actually just scared? Of what? You're scared that you're gonna lose to me. That's why you're giving me lame-ass reasoning and won't teach me the final skill. I was wondering what you were going to say. You have a foolish imagination. At this rate, it will be a long time before you learn. Stop holding back and teach me already. Why isn't it activating? What am I missing? I've already given you the answer. Figure the rest out by yourself. That's part of the training. If you don't intend to teach me, then I'll force you to teach me! I have no choice. Ugh. What? Why? Why didn't you dodge it? You could have easily dodged it! You could become the strongest ever. But you should use your fists for the ones you love. 
When you discover the real way to use your fists, you will become the greatest. I... I... I haven't progressed one bit since then. Like Blood has said, I'm a novice. All right, kind circuit. Well, first and foremost, gotta go healed. Oh, also events. Duh. Let's fix you up. Okay, get treated. And how much money do I have? Almost a million. Hey, that pretty's off of the pillar. It was not worth it. Hey, bro, has Red Magnus really matured? I feel like he's more tolerant than before. Usalia thinks there's kindness inside his strength, Plip. This is super weird. I don't feel like I've grown at all. Hey, Kilia! I bought groceries for dinner! Oh, thanks. I bought super sweet curry roux for little Usa, too! Thank you, Plip. Wow, is this really Red Magnus? Red Magnus is starting to change from a self-centered overlord to a true overlord. Stop compl complimenting me! You're making me blush! We'll compliment you a lot, so blush even more, Plip! Can he blush? Does that mean I'm mistaken? Hey, Zero, you didn't do your chores, so you're not getting any dinner. I told you! See, bro, he's being mean to me! You deserve it. <laughs> Alright, that is... We have another one. Too many events, and that pretty is currently shoving his beak straight up that lady's tits. Alright, that's... Hmm. I mean... Not very unexpected, honestly. Unfortunately, this pretty is pretty much dick height for Red Magnus. That's a sad, sad place to be, dude. Kilia, I want you to teach Usalia how to make curry, Plip. What's up, little Usa? Aren't you satisfied with the curry Kilia makes? If you want, if you want different flavors, then just tell me. I'll do what I can can to alternate. It's not that, Plip. I just thought that Usalia shouldn't rely on Kilia forever, so I thought I should learn how to make curry on my own, Plip. My, she's adorable. Sir Kilia, I'll help too. If you use this dark matter as a secret seasoning, you'll master the secret abilities of dark cooking. I don't need any help. Usalia wants to make it by herself, Plip. Oh, my. I thought this would be a great opportunity to show off my feminine appeal to Kilia. Feminine appeal. More like destructiveness. Alright, starting today, I'll do my best to make curry with Usalia. Thank you very much, Plip. I'll do my best to learn from you. God, she's adorable. Alright, speaking of, I should probably actually eat curry more often, even though it's not really that necessary. I'll do it anyway. Let's make today's curry with, uh... Some handmade bracers and a hand axe. And an ice scroll and a fire scroll and a demon's bullet and a confirm. Okay. Curry completed. <laughs> handmade bracers curry. What's the effect? Uh, attack up. Okay. <laughs> Make a curry with muscles. <laughs> I need to do that, actually. You would- Ooh. Okay, we'll, we'll do that next time around. <laughs> okay. Back to Dimension Guide. I like that. Muscle curry, dude. What the hell's up on that guy's back? Whew. My word. There's no end to this. How many corpses did Margarita put in this castle? Yes, this is Christo. I'm currently busy. Yoo-hoo, little Christo. I figured it's about time you made your decision, so I called you. It's 20 hours till the launch of Armageddon. 
calculating the time it'll take for you to escape, I figured you've already decided. Yeah, about that. There's something I wanted to ask you about. Hmm? What is it? Yes, it's true that by using my clairvoyance, I can pinpoint Void Dark's almost exact location. But then there's no need for a weapon of mass destruction like Armageddon. Using something else would minimize the collateral damage. Why would we do that? Don't you think it's weird for an angel to worry about the netherworld? You, you have a point, but... Besides, what do you think would happen if Void Dark survives? Celestia would definitely get counterattacked, right? Using your clairvoyance to drop Armageddon on Void Dark's head is the only way to be sure. Hey, hello! Can you give me an answer? Remaining silent won't help here. Uh, sorry. Please, give me a little more time to think. Even the fortune told you not to be indecisive? You should decide quick. Why am I having so much trouble with this? If I can take out Void Dark, the suspicion around me will be lifted. What is this feeling in my chest? Oh, he cares for his friends. Okay. Is this just Oh, jeez. <laughs> what? Okay, let's, let's try go. something. Kill ya. Quip. It's got to be in here somewhere. Come on, I've got to have some. Here we go. Arrow sneakers. Yep. I think this is good enough. Hurts his defense really hard. Oh, you serious? That's still not enough. Damn it. Alright, fine. We'll just go back and put some armor back on him. I was really hoping I'd be able to put on uh, the, like, really, really... Oh, jeez. Which one of these is better? I guess the dress armor is. Looks like I got some equipment to switch around here. Uh, well, not a big deal. Oh... <sighs> I was really hoping that I'd be able to, like, pop up and, uh, like, just t start beating the shit out of them. Looks like I do not have enough jump yet. His jump is 20. Does anybody have a higher jump? He's a Roken Might. Alright, hand power. Let's see if we can get him, uh, b that. There we go. Get him some Ninja Claws. That's new. Uh, Ninja Tabby. Oh! Oh, right. Boots are really good for, for fist users. So that's actually, that's actually totally worthwhile for me to do. Let's see if I can get his, uh... Let's see if I can actually get him up there. Otherwise, we put on more pairs of boots. Still can't. Okay, more boots! We don't want belts, we want boots. How many boots must I put, put on? How many boots must a man take? It won't let me, it won't let me jump up there. No matter how many boots I throw on... It will not let me scale that wall. That is disappointing. What is this jump, though? It's four. Oh, it caps out at 40. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Well, I guess they'll just pop down to fight me at some point, I guess. I'm just disappointed now. I really wanted to just like huck. I thought he said I, it's hard to talk like this for a second. I got kind of confused and a little bit excited. Oh shoot, we've got some undead bunnies here. Not exactly what I was expecting. Oh shoot. Can I not giant body? Oh man, if I had landed in the middle, we could have giant body slammed there. Oh well, not the other. Let's see. Use the giant <laughs> tower to just climb up there. That would actually be really funny to just tower my way up to the top and smack people around. I'm gonna have to test that actually. Those hurt. Not that badly, honestly. But they do hurt. Interestingly enough, 
defense and resistance, I don't think, protects you against the bomb. Not in the same way that other stuff does. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Now, here's a question. I gotta test this. Special. Uh, giant body slam. Target is too far off the center of the skill. That is, that sucks. Oh, well, whatever. Let's murder their... You guys are really dumb. I guess let's use Christo, seeing as. Piercing light. Can I, oh, damn it. She's in the way. You get you get out of there. You go you go murder this this lady. It's murder with a victory bullet. It's not enough. That's a surprise. Eh, not too much of one though. Okay, so that'll kill one of the Ramonas. We might as well do you have Giga Heal, right? I swear you had Giga Heal. Maybe not. No, she's only got Mega Heal. Wow. I forgot just how much of, like, a confusing character, uh, Death Santa was. I guess we should probably also hide tower finishing and tower up. None of these do AoE. That's really disappointing. Okay. Ah, uh, special heal. Unfortunately, half the moves that we need here are kind of locked in. Oh, well. Uh, let's have Potato do the finishing honors on this character. Still got Giga... Oh, squad attack. Really? Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. My true power. I was really hoping that squad attack would actually take out, like, everybody. No dice. Wow. Crystal actually does a fair amount of damage with that move. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. He just doesn't get any spells. I feel like he should learn all the basic elemental spells or something. But I guess he's supposed to be a healer more than an offensive caster. So I guess there's that. And... Oh, hey, I'm supposed to kill one of these wrestlers? Huh, don't remember that. Alright. Well, we'll just wait for them to come down and say hi. Not like I'm going to be able to do much else. Weather the hits, I guess. They really don't do much damage, though. 500 damage used to be a lot. I remember those days. Now, I don't think that can even kill Death Santa with a whole volley. Uh, nope. Six bombs could kill Death Santa. Why? Why is he so? Why is he so obsessed with his right hand? This is a confusing thing for me, guys. I would like to know. Okay. So we've got that taken care of. Who even needs a level here? Uh, Red Magnus. Probably Zoroken. But he can go for this one, seeing as she's so much further away. And the wrestlers are a bit of a conundrum, just because I'm not Let's sure go. how to get to them. Uh, I will have that happen. Uh, probably shouldn't use Nobly so Bleege that much, just because it's not a... Uh, ah, that'll kill Zoroken. Let's not do that. Uh, that'll still kill Zoroken. Let's just do that. There we go. Oh, you know what? If she survives, she gets hit by the Spear Gale. Beautiful. I didn't even plan that. Are right, you guys... You guys gonna come down here? Or is it still bomb time? Oh, there they are. Party! My other side. Go, go, go. Damn you. Damn you. What happened? See, now he's upset. When he gets attacked, he says, My other side. I don't... You know what? Whatever. It's... It's... It's not worth worrying about these things. It's not. Alright, let's get a little sneaky mega heal in here. Let's get a, uh... She can do, uh, she can do Braveheart in a line, right? Yeah! Let's boost that damage up. I miss Moax. I, I think I'm gonna change Moax's voice actor. Uh, when I get the chance. He is, uh... He's funny, but I miss it when he used to talk about all of his muscles. That was... those were fun days. Crystal, behind you! Huh? Oh. S sorry. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the help? What are you doing? Why are you just standing there? You obviously seem to be bothered by something. 
Is the air in the netherworld not comforting for an angel? No, no, no. Like I said, I'm an overlord. I really am a demon. Oh, is that so? Forgive me then. <laughs> Something bothering you, Christo? If you don't mind, I can listen and help you out, Cliff. It's nothing. Look, Christo, it can't be nothing. Anyone can see your trouble just by looking at you. Christo probably used a lot of energy when he saved Usalia, so he must be tired, Flint. He'll feel better in a little while, Flint. Until then, Usalia will protect Christo. Is that okay? Usalia? All right, if you don't want to say it, it's okay. Men have a secret or two that they don't want anyone to know. I trust those words come from experience. <laughs> Shut up! Stop teasing me! Christo, I won't ask what's on your mind. But if something's troubling you, you can trust us. He's right, Christo. If you have a problem, you can tell us. We're your allies. <sighs> Please, stop, everyone. You're all demons. Why are you being so nice to me? If you were all cold-hearted and evil like I imagined, then... I wouldn't have to think this hard. I... What should I do?